Hello everyone, here's my uh, disembodied voice. Uh, today we are having a look at some of my old books. I don't collect a lot of things, but over the years I have picked up a few older books which I really love. And I thought I'd show them to you today. And there's, there's a book now, there it is. Oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, so the first older books I ever bought were a pair of Jane Austen novels. Uh, one of which you can see on screen right now. Look at it there, lovely, isn't it? The two books were Persuasion and Sense and Sensibility. I bought them at a school car boot sale around like 10 years ago. I hadn't even read them at the time. It was a few years until I actually would. Uh, I had to for university, but luckily I had a nice copy of them. Uh, this copy is from 1974 and printed in England, published by McDonald Classics. Um, I'm aware, I'm aware, 1974 isn't that old. It's not, it's not that old. But it's like, it's nearly 50 years. And I also think this book is just too pretty not to show you. It's got just such a lovely red cover, like matched with that gold accent kind of color. The silhouette is really pretty. And the details down the spine of the book, oh, just, oh. <laughs> you can see why I picked it up without even knowing what it was. So moving on, we have our second Jane Austen novel here, Sense and Sensibility. Uh, it's a little bit less aesthetically pleasing than the other one, but it is older. It was published in 1949 by Williams and Norgate and printed again in Great Britain. The cover is a kind of like olive green, like it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not very pretty, but it is, it's like this scummy green color and it's a little bit worn around the edges. It has definitely seen better days. What I find particularly special about this book though is not the scummy green cover or the wear around the edges, but it's this little note that's inside the front cover. It says, for darling Gillian, with love from Jeffrey, Christmas 1957. So cute. That's so cute, isn't it? It's so adorable. And I think finding out about the like past lives of the books that I have or I do own at the moment um, kind of makes them extra special and gives them like a little bit of a little bit of je ne sais quoi, little chef's kiss, you know? And uh, my granddad has recently also taken to passing some of his old books to me. One of his favorite reads was actually this one that you see on the screen right now. It's Love and Mr. Lewisham by H.G. Wells. This novel is actually one of the only non-science fiction novels that Wells wrote. And it was originally published in 1900 and it w was very well received. I do hate to have to agree, sorry granddad, it's not it's not very compelling it's not a great love story it's i don't know i just didn't enjoy it i just didn't enjoy it that much uh, but the book itself is special to me nonetheless this edition was published in 1954 by collins clear type press i really love the textured like texture on the front cover it's just, I don't know, it's just nice to touch and the little leaf design on the spine, I just think it's so cute. It's again that like gold embellishment that the uh, Austin novel had. I just, just, I don't know, it just makes, makes the book feel fancy. And uh, inside the cover also has like a nice pattern. It's these like conjoined C's, which I presume are like designed after the publisher, which was Collins Clear type press so you know c c collins clear and uh, there's a rather lovely illustration of wells himself wearing a cute little bow tie and he's got a cute little face i just like that they included that like this man made this in addition to this novel my granddad has also given me a number of books he once used when he studied math so we're going from fiction to non-fiction uh, these books range in age, so the little one here is 1924, and then we have one from 1950 and 1963. I'm not a maths person, personally, but these books make me happy because they remind me of him. I'm more of a more of a kind of fiction kind of person. Moving on from those three, the most special book that I have is this copy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. Greg actually bought this one for me for my birthday, I think like a couple of years ago. Uh, Vern is one of my favorite authors and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is my favorite piece that he's written. It was 
published by Relatives and Sons and translated by Henry Frith. Uh, I think the original book was written in French. I think, don't quote me on that, but I think, I, I mean, I could have looked it up, but I, I, did, I didn't. Uh, I think it was written in French. And I actually don't know how old this book is. So if you know, if you recognize it, please comment below, tell me. I really, really, really want to know. I've tried researching it myself, but I haven't had any success. On the inside front cover, there is a label that states presented to Thomas Thompson for exhibit at the Holborn Industrial Exhibition, January 16, 1890. So this gives me kind of some idea as to its age. It must have been published pre-1890s, but like how many years before that? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Uh, I haven't even had any luck fighting about the Holborn Industrial Exhib Exhibition itself. Like, I just, I can't, I can't even find it online. So, I just, I've got no idea. So, once again, if you do know anything, please, <laughs> please tell me and comment below. So, turning our attention from age to the actual book itself, it looks... It looks pretty. I really like the front cover. It has this really nice kind of foliage around and these three lovely little boys on the front. Um, one of them has a cricket bat, one of them has a fishing rod and the middle of the book, you know, they're engaged in various activities. You know, you can see around the spine, it's a bit raggedy and around the edges, it's not, it's not doing too hot and like it creaks when you open it. So, you know, <laughs> don't, don't do that too often. But I really like it and it is definitely the most favorite book I own. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.